Hi guys, and welcome back to today's mental breakdown. <laughs> so, hi, welcome. Um, don't really know how to start this video. I'm just going to be talking. It's probably going to be a mess. It's probably going to be all over the place and not make a lot of sense. And I'm wearing these and I can't tell if I look dumb or not. But I feel like they're kind of cute. So I might just keep wearing them. And they hide some of this going on. So, um... Today's video is just going to be me talking about what heartbreak feels like. Um, I'm really going through it right now. I'm sure you could tell in my last video if you watched that. Um, I was not okay. And I was just trying to make myself feel better. And uh, I just think I'm going to talk about this. And uh, hopefully someone... Well, not hopefully. I really would not wish this upon anybody. But uh, maybe some of you guys can relate to it or... Maybe you guys have some advice, even though I'm the worst at taking advice. I guess the backstory is that I was in a relationship and, you know, I thought that was it. Um, I thought he was the one that I was going to be with. Um, and I know I'm young, I'm only 19, but like we clicked, you know, and I just didn't see it ending. Fuck, I'm so bad at talking about my feelings. I'm such a little fucking bitch. So... I'm just going to share my experiences and um, try not to cry on the internet because that's embarrassing and I guess we'll just get into it. So like I said, we had dated for a little bit over a year, like literally like a week over a year. Like we just celebrated our anniversary and um, to this day I still couldn't tell you like why it fell apart. It was really sudden and I didn't really get a lot of answers um, and I'm still really confused about a lot of it. Oh, this is so embarrassing. Why did I think this was a good idea? I guess the main thing is that heartbreak feels like like you're dying, honestly. It's physical pain that you feel in your chest every second of every day. It hurts to breathe. It hurts to eat. You're grieving the loss of someone who's still alive. You know, they're not gone. They are, but they're not, you know, gone forever. They're not dead. And honestly, I feel like that almost would be easier. You're grieving somebody who, who's alive. And not only that, but if you had a close relationship with their family and you, like, had them to go to, you lose all of them too. So sometimes you're grieving more than one loss. A heartbreak is suffocating. It's seeing everything that you guys used to do together, everywhere that you would go together. And like seeing pictures and it all just weighs down on you and there's really nothing you can do about it because at the end of the day nobody else knows what your relationship was like besides you two and they can tell you that like time heals all and like it'll get better and it's like not the end of the world and honestly I know that I've been through breakups before I know like like I know it gets easier but that doesn't stop it from feeling like it's killing you and that doesn't stop you from wondering, like, what you did wrong. Oh, this is so embarrassing. But, you know, I've been hiding my feelings from everybody for, like, three weeks. So I guess we'll just throw it all out there. Hi, everybody who knows me in real life. I'm doing awful. I'm not okay. My mental stability is, like, so bad. And it feels like there's a little hole in my heart. Because I miss him a lot. <laughs> oh my god, maybe this video was a bad idea. I don't even know, like, what I'm trying to say. I just wanted to, like, talk about this because I don't talk about things with people in real life. And I'm tired of talking about it to myself in my journal. Like, I have filled page after page just every day trying to, like get it out there and like there's just so much like oh my god and I've been writing a lot which is good you know to not keep it all in your head but I haven't been talking to people about it and I feel like people are starting to think I'm okay you know it's been like almost three weeks and I'm functioning I go to work I get my class work done I'm social sometimes you know like I I, I truly think that people think I'm gonna be okay and that maybe that's why they stopped reaching out or maybe I pushed everyone away and I just didn't even realize it but um I'm really not okay heartbreak is like 
a hand is around your little heart, squeezing it so tight that it's pounding 24-7 and that it feels like it's going to explode and that there's just nothing you can do about it. It feels like you're having a heart attack. It feels like you're having a panic attack. You can't even stop it. Like, literally the only thing that i found that, like, makes myself not hurt all the time is when I'm asleep. That's almost not even worth it because when I wake up, it's instantaneously. Like, as soon as I'm, like, my eyes won't even be open, but as soon as I'm conscious, it just all hits me. And it's just, like, you're alone. It's so lonely and it hurts so bad and I would not wish it upon anybody. Like, not even my worst enemy. And I just, I, I don't understand how people, uh, how people keep trying and they, like, wholeheartedly just love someone and how they can't think of the words how time and time again you give your whole heart to somebody and you just like risk it every time i just don't understand anymore how people can keep trying because the thought of like ever feeling this again i mean i'm sure i will you know that's just the way life is but the thought of that is just like i just don't want to try anymore heartbreak is when somebody sees you and they say, hey, how are you? Suddenly you're crying. They'll say, are you okay? And your eyes just water up. You can't even control it. Heartbreak is testing your self-control. It's seeing, can I make myself not reach out? Can I put down my phone and not stalk his social media? Can I get out of bed today? And sometimes you can't, and that's okay too. Heartbreak is not eating because the thought of food makes you want to throw up. But you know you need to eat because you don't want to feel this way, you know? But even just thinking about food sometimes makes me want to throw up. And I know this is really bad, but I've only been eating like one meal a day. And I'm really trying to, you know? Heartbreak is easier when it's messy and the person did something bad because you can hate them. And it's so much easier to use hate to make yourself be better and to fuel it and to use it as your motivation. I've been through a different breakup and um, he really, really did me dirty. And I used that and I became like my best version of myself. But when they don't do anything wrong and it just falls apart, you can't even hate them. And then you're just sad. And sadness is good for fucking nothing. It's just crippling and debilitating, and you can't use it to fuel yourself. And that's what sucks, because deep down, I mean, not even deep down, like, I know it. I know I'm a bad bitch, okay? Like, I know who I am, and I know I'm fucking awesome, and I don't care if I sound self-considered or narcissistic, because I'm probably both of those, two. Like, I know I'm funny, and I'm cute, and I'm a good friend, and I'm a bad fucking bitch. <laughs> but it's the energy that I'm missing. And you can't really use your sadness to turn that back into that energy because, you know, you lost someone and there's a part of you missing. Heartbreak is not being able to look at the things that they gave you, see his name or say his name because it just reminds you of like all the good things. Oh, I'm such a bitch. Heartbreak is not having anything to do for the day, so you lay in your bed for four hours and just stare at the wall. And you don't even do anything, you don't move, you don't talk, you just stare at the wall. Heartbreak is physical, it is not, you know, it's emotional pain, but it's emotional pain that is so bad that it becomes physical and you can just feel the weight of a thousand things pushing on your chest. And stupidly, maybe this isn't for everybody, but again, this is... This is about me right now. Heartbreak is a little feeling in the back of your head that's saying it's going to be okay. You just need some time. And if it's meant to be, it'll be. And if he's the one, then he'll come back because you love him, let him go. And if they come back, then they're yours or whatever that quote is. I don't even know what it is. So for everyone in my life asking, not okay. It's not getting better. I feel just as horrible, just as miserable as I did the first weekend. Sure, I get my stuff done, and but that is just years of how I was raised. Of Like, you have things to do, you gotta do them. I've been working myself to death because when I'm at work, for like 20 minutes sometimes, I'll just get so caught up in folding the clothes that I'm folding. 
and putting something away for those 20 minutes if I'm lucky I just forget I don't feel anything I'm just at work but uh after that 20 minutes it always comes back and it hurts just as fucking bad as it did before heartbreak is just months of memories constantly on repeat in your head wondering at what point were we not okay anymore and I just honestly wish he would have done something bad that I I could hate him for it because it'd be so much easier and heartbreak is lonely and painful and no matter how many people you have surrounding you you don't really have them helping you get better they give you advice they give you support but it's your emotional damage and it's your pain that you have to figure out what to do with it so stop asking me how i'm doing because i'm not doing good but uh i think i'm gonna be done now because my roommates are gonna be home soon and they don't need to see this until it's on the internet so thanks for watching I just needed to rant or vent. I don't know. I'm trying to like talk about my feelings because it's supposed to be healthy for you. And I can't do it in person. So it's okay to not be okay. That's all I got for today. Sorry it wasn't funny or like entertaining at all. But it was real. Watch a different one. It'll be funnier. <laughs> Maybe. Um, but it definitely won't be as sad. Unless it's ironically sad because it's so pathetic. Um... <laughs> Yeah, if you're new here, sorry that this was your first video that you saw of me. Um, I swear, I'm actually way cooler than this. I've just really been going through it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. And um, if you're watching this, don't know if you will. There's like a 50-50 chance. I'm sorry you had to watch that. That's so embarrassing. <laughs> um, but I miss you in my life. And I'm sorry this happened to us.